Hi guys and welcome to another weekly vlog. Now last week's video was so popular and there were so many comments saying that you'd like to see it every week so I'm going to try and upload these possibly not weekly. I don't know if I'll be able to film every single week depending on what I have on. Um, I'm definitely going to try and get them up weekly if I can so hopefully Wednesdays can become weekly vlog Wednesdays which would be amazing. So this week I've got quite a lot on especially today I'm going to be quite busy so you might only see a few snippets um, but I know I'll have a lot of content because I know last week I had so much content to edit um, but yeah let's crack on with our week and as always I'll bring you along for the journey. So later on that evening I decided to go ride to Smokey um, and it was such a lovely warm and sunny evening that I thought I'd make the most of it and have a little ride. So I've been lunging him mainly recently um, but I'm trying to get back into the saddle at least to ride him every other day if not daily and he was doing really well. This is the first time I rode him in quite a while. So I just warmed him up very slowly and then we got on with the job. So because Smokey was going so well I decided to pop a little jump and when I say little I mean little because he's not jumped in about two months so I thought I'd see what his reaction was because I knew he was going to be very excitable um, about seeing it and his little ears just leaped forward the second he saw the pole come off the ground. You can just see how excited he is which is the reason I literally just sat up because I knew it was going to be a big one as it was. And then we did pop it a couple more times and after the first jump he settled down fine and he was just enjoying jumping it. In fact, he soon realised it was really small and he couldn't really be bothered. So it is day two, it is Tuesday today and I've just got down to the yard to see to Mr. Smokey. Now it's about eight o'clock in the morning so I'm quite early today. Um, but I've got work at my parents later on so that's why I'm down early. Um, and luckily this week the weather is so much nicer. It's eight and a half degrees which is practically tropical after last week when it wasn't even getting above freezing. Um, so that means that I can work him Obviously you saw that I, w I rode him yesterday um, and we had a little jump that we got very excited about. But um, I'm going to work him again today, but I have got to muck out and everything. What? I've not got nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get on and do some stuff. Do some stuff. <laughs> so then I quickly mucked out Smokey, if only it was actually this quick in real life. I saved myself so much time and this is what his bed looked like. Um, so all nice and clean and tidy for him and then it was time to give him a groom and to get on and ride. Now today I set up my pivot which is um, my little cameraman that normally follows me. 
however I may have just opened the app and forgot to turn the actual pivot on so apologies for the fact that it was all stuck in one place but here's just a little clip of our ride today <laughs> So Smokey was very good so I gave him a treat after his ride and just brushed him off um, and then once he was all done it was time to head to my parents farm to muck out the other horses. Now I won't bore you with six stables worth of mucking out so this is just me doing taffy and again I wish I could speed it up in real life um, but Taffy is actually the cleanest of all of my horses to muck out, he's an absolute dream, um, he definitely beats any of the other seven from mucking out so it didn't take me long at all actually to do him, it did however take me an age to do Lucy because she was particularly dirty today. So it's now actually the next day, so we're on to Wednesday, and apologies I didn't do an intro, but I had a lot of Zoom meetings this morning, so it was meant I had the morning off from horses, which was a bit of a different morning for me. So I headed to Home Bargains after my Zoom meetings, because they ended early, and I needed to pick up a few essentials, some cleaning products, um, some bits and bobs for the dog, and some food, and I also had to stock up on my coffee. And while I was there, I got a few other items, like these reusable straws. They had lots of lovely things and I love home bargains. And then in the afternoon, it was just on to working the ponies. So I was working Rocky again today, who was feeling rather fresh on this particular day. So he was having a few books and some canters round. And, uh, you're on the wrong lead. Go back to truck. And trot, good boy, trot on. Now canter. <laughs> Rocky, that's correct, lead, go on. Good boy, correct, lead. <laughs> oh, you are funny. Rocks. Circle. Good boy. Circle. And trot. Trot on, good boy. Trot on. Good. And then after Rocky, I also popped Mr. Smokes on the lunge, and he was very well behaved. It was a really lovely evening, um, and he was a very good boy to lunge tonight. Hi guys, so it is Thursday today, so I'm going to head to my parents shortly because they've got some jobs for me to do because I'm helping them out this afternoon. So as always, I'll bring you along for the journey. So once I got to my parents, I actually started off by doing a bit of tack cleaning because the horses' bridles in particular were looking pretty disgusting, so I took them all apart and gave everything a really good scrub. Normal people keep dishes on their dry racks, we keep bits of bridles. And as well as the bridles I also did the rest of the tags, I did the saddles and their girth and you can see this is Lucy's girth and it was particularly dirty and definitely, definitely overdue a clean. Tack cleaning is just not something I enjoy at all so it's something that I kind of have to be forced into. Um, but then I got cracking on her saddle and oh my gosh, it, it just looks so nice once it's been cleaned. Lucy's got a really nice Bates dressage saddle, um, so it definitely deserves a bit of a pamper. And once I'd cleaned everything down with the Leo Vet soap, I then went ahead and used the leather balsam to give everything a wipe down after. It's just really good. It helps protect the leather, makes it shiny and nice and soft. And my gosh, it smells so nice. So I did that on all of the leather work.
And then after that I did have a little ride on Chili. Now unfortunately I didn't have a cameraman nor did I have my Pivo so this is just his warm down but he was a very good boy today. I've not ridden him for a few weeks so it's really nice to get back in the saddle. He always feels like an absolute giant after I've been on Smokey. just finished cleaning tack and I've just come to fetch it back round so I thought I'd come say hell hello I thought I'd come say hello to Mr Chili hello grumpy oh, your head's too big excuse you ow rude And then it was on to feeding the animals. So first up we have the piggies who were ready for their afternoon tea. And I did feed the other animals that I didn't actually film those. Instead I headed straight to the livery yard and I rode Smokey again this evening. Again this is just his warm down because I didn't really um, have the equipment to film me actually riding him. But I did manage to ride him again today um, and he again was very well behaved. Hi guys, so it's now the next day. Um, I'm very aware that I don't want these to become like the same thing every day so I'm trying to not include all of the daily routine in each day um, but I have been given some instructions by my parents because I help look after all the animals um, to go and get some animal feed my dad has literally drawn the store because he doesn't trust me to not get it wrong so I'm gonna head over it takes about 40 minutes to get um, to the store I'm going to it's not very local but they sell all the things we need so I'm gonna go get some goat feed some rabbit feed and some other bits and bobs so I'll bring you along for the journey so I don't know whether it's just me but any sort of country equestrian store if it's not my usual one I just love looking around now obviously at the moment um you're not meant to be browsing I did have a little look um just while I was walking to get to the feed section anyway and this is just saddle pad heaven look at all those different colors and i did make my way over to the lickets because i was considering getting smoky one um but then i remembered how quickly he eats them so i think we'll save that um might get my granola one another time um but we are getting closer to the feeds eventually and then I actually spotted a load of red gorilla items so obviously I had to go over and have a look and it was actually this day that um, I got a message, a DM on Instagram of someone saying that they'd seen a poster of me in their local equestrian store from my red gorilla shoot um, so that was amazing um, so I was just browsing all of the things that you know I love red gorilla so anything like that um, I just I'm drawn to it as soon as I see it so I did eventually actually get the feed that I went for. Um, so they actually ran out of the normal rabbit food that we have, I think, or they've changed the packaging, but I did eventually find it. Um, but while I was there, I also had a quick sneak peek at the Lemire sets that they had set out that were looking very tempting. Hi guys, so I've just got back from um, pop into the shop ups and I'm just going to give the horses their lunchtime hay nets a feed. So I'm doing Mr. Chili first. Oh. Oh, just Get back. Back. So Chill gets a feed because he has to have his puriton in it and then the rest just get a hay net. So the rest of the horses get their hay nets in the field. I'll pop this on my GoPro, seeing as 
the weather, the wind's really bad, so I don't want to be walking around with one hand. Very dirty pony today. Good morning guys, so it is Saturday today. Now normally I don't film on weekends for my weekly vlog, but I'm aware I haven't filmed much in the week, so I'm gonna show you my Saturday. So actually the weekends are when I do the most work because because uh. on a weekend is when I look after the six horses at my parents as well as Smokey. So I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but we've just rocked up at my parents' farm. When I say we, I mean me and this little man. You little man. Ted is still half asleep, however. <laughs> Aren't you, Daddy? Um, so I'm going to go pop him in the house and then I'm going to head around to the stables. So the first thing I did was head to the fields to poo pick. And I take a barrow down and a large bucket. Um, and the reason that I take the bucket is because I take this in the field instead of the barrow because the mud at the gates is really quite deep now um, at this time of year so the wheelbarrow would get stuck in it so hence I take the bucket and it's so much easier so that's a nice quick little hack if anyone's struggling with wheelbarrows and pooping this winter and of course I had to say hello to some of the ponies so I went and said hello to Taff And then I went and said hello to Caramel, who, as normal, was rather grumpy and would sooner I didn't. And so after pooping comes the stables. Now don't worry, I won't bore you all with mucking out all six of them. But here's just a little snippet of me doing Lucy's. If only the stables were this quick to muck out, it would make my life so much easier. Okay guys, so the next job I've got today is to fill the hay nets. Now I've actually ordered some brand new hay nets um, for the majority of the horses to colour coordinate with their buckets so I've just set out so they have 
morning, lunch and night nets. Now as you can see there's only four in each pile. Um, that's because one of them's come which was for chilli and I don't like it. So it's like a navy blue, basically a black and that's not the colour I wanted so I'm going to send those, his three back but he uses these nets anyway which are black and blue at the moment so his actually does fit the colour theme I just wanted to get him some new ones but um, I'm just going to keep using those for now so the only other one who hasn't got new hay nets is caramel because her colour is yellow and I cannot find for the life of me some small hay nets that are small hold in the colour yellow so if you know of any let me know in the comments below send me the link um, but I'll show you the ones that we've got for the others. So these are the ones I've opened up just to check the size and everything. So purple is Taffy. So he's got like a medium, larger hold purple. Then this green, it's not the green I thought it was going to be. It's more of a turquoise, but we'll live with it. This is for Charlie. Um, and then the bright orange is for Danny. Now, I wish I'd got them all in this type, but I couldn't find a website that had all of um, the same hay nets in all the colours I wanted, but this is my favourite. Um, and then the pink is for Lucy, but she's got the greedy, it's like a greedy hay net one. So it's got tiny holes, which is what she needs because she is a greedy pick. So they're the ones that have got the four new hay nets. Caramel is going to keep um, her current one, which if I show you, so she has these little red ones at the minute, which to be fair will do, I just wanted her to have matching colours, but she's going to have those, everyone else has got their correct colours, so oh, yeah, that's my little colour coordinating done for today, I just need to fill them all up now, which is the hardest part. And just as I was about to start filling the hay nets, I got a call from my dad to say he'd looked out the window and all of the horses were flying about and he noticed that Charlie had managed to once again get out of his field and into Taffy's field. Now he does this quite often because he's a big hippo and just literally just goes through the fence. Um, he puts his head under it and just runs at it. Um, so all the horses were galloping around making the fields even more muddy than they already are um, because Chunk decided he wanted to get in with Taffy. Now luckily they don't fight or anything. The reason they can't live together is because when it comes to feeding they kick each other um, otherwise these two would live together um, but they were just galloping about and having a bit of fun so we let them calm down a little bit and then it was um, time to capture them and put Charlie back where he belongs. And he most certainly was not happy with me whatsoever after I put him back in his field. Um, he had major grumps on and just stood and stared at us for quite a while. <laughs> so once I'd finished all of the jobs on the yard looking after the six horses, it was then time to head down to the livery. And when I got down there, I noticed that little Rocky who I introduced to in the last vlog, um, one of the horses that I'm working, was laid down. And and I've been building quite a bond with him so I wanted to see if he'd let me into his space um, while he was laid down and he surprisingly did, I didn't think he would at all. So I, so I spent some time just sat with him, giving him scratches, giving him loves. He's a really sweet little pony, he's so nice. Um, so I just sat and gave him some attention before I went and worked Smokey. If I could 
So guys, that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Friday. Bye guys!